clear from media coverage that a former senior member of staff in this place has felt unable to speak out about serious alleged wrongdoing because of an agreement signed with the House of Commons when they left. The Women and Equality Select Committee is currently investigating the way agreements can affect individuals' ability to speak out or their perceived ability to speak out. Mr Speaker, I understand you, are, as Chair of the House of Commons Commission, are the ultimate employer of House of Commons staff. And I ask what steps that you will be taking to make it clear to staff, both, both current and former, that they can speak out about wrongdoing experienced whilst working in this place. Mm -hmm. And, Mr Speaker, can I ask whether you will be making a personal statement, given your involvement in these allegations, and that they are further allegations which potentially have the effect of um, undermining the reputation of this House? I'm extremely grateful to the Right Honourable Lady for her courtesy in giving notice of this point of order and for giving me the opportunity to reassure her, and I'm conscious of her and her committee's interest in the subject of non-disclosure agreements, and current and former staff of the House. Let me be clear, current and former staff are not constrained by any agreements from talking freely and confidentially to the independent inquiry into bullying and harassment being conducted by Dame Laura Cox QC, and I hope that they will do so. I also understand that the Clerk of the House has this morning provided the Right Honourable Lady with a note on the standard terms of compromise agreements, now called settlement agreements, between the House and staff, leaving under individual arrangements. Matters in which, I should emphasise, I am not myself involved and never have been. He, that is to say the Clerk of the House, has explained that these are not non-disclosure agreements in the sense generally used. They do not in any way seek to prevent disclosure of wrongdoing on public interest grounds, i.e. whistleblowing. I am asking the Clerk to make this note more widely available. As for myself, I say to the Right Honourable Lady and to the House, I have made a public statement to which I have nothing to add. Yeah, yeah, I will come to the Honourable Lady and to other colleagues. Point of order, Dr Julian Lewis. Yes, well, further to uh, the point of order raised by my Right Honourable Friend, and at the risk of pushing my luck, can I just ask you if you're prepared, at least in the context of the personal statement that you've already made, to confirm that the great majority of members of staff in your office have served you for a substantial period of years, and the great majority of those who have left your service during your speakership have left on perfectly amicable terms. I'm very happy to confirm both. I have a superb team of dedicated, effective and long-serving staff, five of whom have served me for a collective total of over 40 years. I am also happy to confirm that the great majority of people who have left my service have done so on perfectly amicable terms.